Greetings, beloved. Welcome to Narrowgate Channel and the beautiful day our Father God has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I welcome those who just joined Narrowgate Channel. Let us learn together. It's Operation Give Jesus your 100%. In 2023, beloved, the door of the ark is closing. The honors lies on individuals. If you want to be part of the ark, you have to run for your life. Our Father is wrapping up. He said, Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast which thou hast that no man take thy crown praise the name of the lord we serve a powerful god beloved the great i am the one and only risen king in him i hid all the treasures of knowledge and wisdom hallelujah we continue beloved our father has been teaching us a lot beloved when it comes to food since the beginning of this journey even after he lifted the restrictions he is still cutting on food, especially during our fast. That's when our father cuts lots of food. And I've seen many emails from brethren, beloved, wanting to understand why am I eating in the dream when I'm fasting? I have shared that that's when our father guides us a lot in this area of food. So if you find yourself eating a food item while you are fasting, take note. He is saying no to that food item. Hallelujah. Our father showed me a vision of how we should handle this situation, beloved, when we visit our family members. What must you do when they give you food? Our father cares about us. And he guides us each and every day. Praise the name of the Lord. Before I share this vision, I want to share the word of God from the book of Luke chapter 10. I will read verse 8. This was the time when Jesus sent his disciples to preach the gospel. Verse 8, it says, And into whatsoever city ye enter, and they receive you, eat such things as are set before you. That is the word of God, beloved, and that's what our Father revealed. That when you visit your family members and they offer you food, eat what they are giving you. Praise the name of the Lord. I'll give you an example. You go visit your family members and they cooked trotters because it's exactly what father showed me in the dream they offered me trotters and our father has forbidden us to eat trotters i never ate them even after the relief so he showed me a vision they offered me trotters and i said in my heart i don't eat trotters our father has forbidden me to eat trotters. However, since I'm a visitor, it's okay. I don't have to stress them with what I eat and what I don't eat. Whatever is placed in front of me, that I will eat. Praise the name of the Lord. So beloved, our father does not want us to be a problem when we visit our family members. Whatever they give you, please eat. Praise the name of the Lord. Our Father is not going to hold you accountable. Praise the name of the Lord. Just like he said to the disciples that wherever they go, they must eat. Whichever the city they go, whatever they are given, they must eat. So that's what our Father wants us to do. Praise the name of the Lord. However, it's important that I share the scripture in 1 Corinthians, beloved, of what Paul said. I will read from verse 9. The word of God says, But take heed, lest by any means this liberty of yours become a stumbling block to them that are weak. For if any man see thee which hast knowledge, sit at meat in the idol's temple, shall not the conscience of him which is weak be emboldened to eat those things which are offered to idols? And through thy knowledge shall the weak brother perish for whom Christ died? But when ye sin so against the brethren and wound their weak conscience, ye sin against Christ. 
Wherefore, if meat make my brother to offend, I will eat no flesh while the world standeth, lest I make my brother to offend. That's the powerful word of God, beloved. Paul is guiding us as well on what to do when you are faced with this situation. You might attend a family gathering or a function, and you know very well that in that function, they slaughtered an animal and offer the animal to the ancestors. It happens a lot in the African community. So what do you do as a child of God? Yes, we have the liberty, but he is telling us to apply wisdom as well. When you know you are surrounded by non-believers who are aware that you are aware that the meat that you are eating has been offered to idols and you go and eat, that is not being wise. Praise the name of the Lord. So the best is to stay away. So when you visit your family members and they happen to do some rituals and you are aware of it, the best is not to eat. But if you visit them and there is no celebration that involves any rituals, then eat whatever they have placed before you. Praise the name of the Lord. That is what our Father is guiding us. And if you eat anyhow in front of non-believers, they will remind you and tell you that now you eat food that are sacrificed to idols. So let us be wise when it comes to that. But if you go there and they offer you chicken feet or the intestines, you know, malamuhodu, you know, the tribe, all those things that we know our father has forbidden us that we used to eat before. You can eat with joy. Praise the name of the Lord. You don't have to stress them by saying, I don't eat this. No, I don't drink juice. No, I don't take tea. Just eat. Praise the name of the Lord. The same way that Jesus told the disciples. So that's it for this message. I love you all. Stay blessed as we continue to learn. Bye-bye.